and well-being. Hope you're enjoying this lovely weather today and we're going to do a core class today so if you'd like to join me we're going to clear a big space around us so we've got lots of room and hopefully you're going to have a mat nearby. So my plan for today's class is to do a little warm-up just to really work through those core muscles that we're going to be exercising. And then once our warm up is finished, I'll go into a very small standing section where we're going to really engage the core and I'll teach you how to engage your core. And then we're going to go down onto a four point kneeling, hands and knees, and we do a sequence down there. And then finally, we do our floor sequence where we be laid on our back. And then at the end, we'll do a lovely big stretch. So I hope that sounds okay for you all today. If there is anybody with any injuries, you just do what you can. And if there is anything that you can't do today, then just leave it well alone. And hopefully you enjoy it. And then you can repeat it later on in the week so you get another core workout a little bit later on. So if we're all ready and we've cleared the space, we've got a mat, I'm going to put my music on. And we're going to do a nice little warm up and enjoy. So we're just going to start in this lovely big space. Take those feet, turn them out, give me a lovely little squat and then reach up. And go down a little squat and reach up. And go down, give me one more little squat and reach up. Come down, soft knees, and just shift your body weight and point those toes. I'd like you to draw your belly in, crown the head lovely and tall. Give me a little heel up to your bottom. Super. Now go back to the tap. Now go back to the heel, brilliant, arms go tap to the side, heel, cross, tap, excellent, at the heel, one more time, at the heel, Stay here, come into a little wide march, feel that work around the bottom, outside here. Come up on your toes, bring in the back of the legs. Come down the heels and get lower into the body, keep that posture. Up on your toes, squeeze your bottom, down on your heels, get down low. Two more on the toes. Excellent. Go heels down. Now put it together. Lovely little tap. Crisscross arms. Heel up. Wide march on the toes. Wide march down low. Give me a tap and a punch across the body. Into that waist. Over the head. Four more. Put in that tummy. Cross four. Reach up. You got the idea. One more. Across four. Reach up. And then we're going to put it all together. Oh yeah. Tap. Heel to bum crisscross. Wide march on the toes, squeeze your bottom, get down low, tap across the body, reach up high, yay, again, last time through, heel up, squeeze, wide on the toes, down low, keep that posture, Tap reach, tap stretch, superb, shoulders, take a little reach down, reach up, 
Shoulders again. Reach down low. Reach up high. Tap only. Excellent. Now we're getting lower into that tap. So take that knee, point it out towards that toe. Give me four, three, two. Take a hold here. Take a stretch over. Lengthen all the way down that side. Pull your belly button in. Come back into the middle. Go into a squat. Take your bottom out behind you. Now round that back and pull up through that belly button. Good, and again. Take a deep squat, stick that bottom out, engage the belly, roll up. Now come over to this side, stretch over, lengthen that waist. Excellent. Come back to centre. Now bring these toes in. Take that lovely stretch into that upper back. Push those shoulder blades apart. Stand up straight. Squeeze your bottom. Put your hands on your bottom. Look up. Pull in that tummy. And then bring that chest down. Pick up one leg. You're going to kick. Push. Push. Pull in that belly. Keep that chest up. Engage from the core. Engage. Two more. One more. Take a hold. Now push this leg back. Put your hips down to the floor so they're pointing downwards. Hold that opposite arm out. Get those shoulders down that spine. Bring them together. One. Two. Three. Keep that balance. Four more. Pull in that belly. Two, one, come up, now lift up, look up, squeeze your bottom, extend back through and hold, excellent, come up, pick up that other leg, we go, push, release, push, release, chest stays up, belly stays tight, four of them, three of them, Two of them, one of them, hips point downwards, opposite arm, open up those shoulders, we go, in for eight. Ooh. Four more, one, two, three, four, feet down, extend, squeeze that bottom. Open and hold. Good, I'm back to you. Next one. Opposite. Touch that toe. Crunch in the middle. Bend. Engage that belly. Good. Two more. One more. One side. Out to the side. Pull those arms down wide. Four, three, two, out to the other side, go. Four more. Breathe. Breathe. Two more. One more. And march. Lovely. Can I repeat that again? So I'm going sideways, we keep your chest up, lengthen that head, draw the tailbone down, pull into that belly, lift one leg, let's go, there. Push away, strong, two more, one more, take that back leg through, open up those shoulders, Hold, hips point down, eight of them. Focus on a point on the floor, two more, one more. Hold, come into parallel, squeeze your bottom, extend through the, and hold. Come through on that other leg, balancing, stay strong, chest 
ça. Pour moi. Two more. One more. Now hold. Now push that back leg through. Get those hips parallel to the floor. Take away that opposite arm. Shoulders open and eight of them. How are we doing? Four more. Three. One. Two. Three. Last one. Hold it there. Come into parallel. Squeeze that bottom. Extend up. Hold. I'm back to you. Opposite leg kick. Reach across. Last four. Two. Beautiful. Side. Big arms. Four more. Switch and go. You can come into the side if you want. Last four. One. Up. Two. Three. Give me one more. And march. Yay. Ooh, it's warm. Let's take this and come down into hands and knees. And we're going to do a sequence down here. So if you have your knees and your hips, your hands and your shoulders, let's take a little bit of pressure off the wrists, spread the fingertips out, and put a little bit of weight through the fingertips. Now open up those shoulder blades across the back. Keep that head level with the spine. Don't let it hang down here. Lift it up there. Pull in the belly. Take right arm up. Bring it in. Right arm up. Bring it in. Now don't sink into that left shoulder. Keep that left arm strong. Four more. Belly pulling in. Be careful not to stick your bum up. Two more. One to go. Now right hand under shoulder, left one. There. And back. Excellent. Squeeze that navel towards your belly button. Towards your spine, sorry. Four. Three. Two to go. One more. Now take a sit back and release. Excellent. So I'd like you to come onto one side, take away that opposite leg, put it on the floor. Put that hand back under that shoulder. So now we've got opposites. Pull in that belly. Here we go. Lengthen. Squeeze that bottom, come down. Working on the diagonal. You have four, there's one. There's two. Stay strong in the belly. One more. Now keep this leg in the air, keep the arm in the air and balance and hold those shoulders wide across that back. Working up through the spine. Come down. Take a little release back. Head down in between those elbows. Lengthen through that back. Then come across to the other side. Remove that leg. Keep those hips pointing down. Pull up through those shoulder blades. Opposite leg and arm. Belly tight. Here we go. Little gap under that chin. Four to go. Four. Three. Two more. 
One more to go. Let's hold it and shoulders open. Keep those hips pointing down. Hold that balance. And then come in and sit back. Excellent. Now while we're here, come up into a nice kneeling position. Now bring the hand down. Keep this knee under this hip and put this hand under the shoulder so you can slide that opposite leg out. Good, so you've got that lovely long lengthened leg out to the side, now bring that hand up here. Now be careful not to really sink down or to lift up. Hold this toe off the floor. Kick. Excellent. Now if you don't like this one, you can do it leg down on your side. So it can be a side lying kick instead of a kneeling kick if you prefer. Four more. Two left. One more. Hold. Open and look up. Count to four, shoulders wide, three, belly tight, two, and one. Ooh, excellent. Take so a little press back, and then we do the other side. So remember, up to knees first. Bring the hand under the shoulder, take away the outside leg. Keep this knee under the hip. Open up that shoulder. Cross the upper back. Now raise that toe. Kick here. Slide back. Breathe out. And in. Brilliant. Four more, everybody. Two more. One more. Now we need to hold there. Keep that leg lifted, keep that belly pulling in, take away that arm and look up there and hold. Four, three, two, and one. Yay! I'm going back here. Sit back. They come round the bottom. Right, our last little sequence, all that, we're going to go down onto our back, so we're in what we call the supine position, where you lay on your back, knees bent, bring those feet in it so they feel comfortable, keep those knees pointing to the ceiling, and we start with just a very loose link of the fingers, place behind the head, let the head fall into the hand. Bring those elbows up so you switch off those shoulders. And try to keep a little gap under your chin for me. So you're going to lift the shoulder blades, like we've done, hold this position, take away the right leg, take away the left leg. So it's a lovely kick. See that toe go towards the wall, back in. Keep the head and shoulders lifted. You need two. You need one. Hold it there. Now take that head, open out those arms. Keep one elbow down and bring the other elbow towards that knee. Excellent. Two to go. Switch other side. Elbow stays down. Keep those knees apart. 
two more. One more. Now lift up, take both hands onto the knee. Get up under the chin. Eight pulses, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slide down. Excellent, we're gonna add. Arms down, head down. Right leg up, left leg up. Now bring these knees in. Hold it there. One out, one in. One out, in. I would like you to keep your back close down into that floor. One. Hold. 
shoulders, lift that chest up. Take those hips, take that bottom. Make that lovely table position. If you would like, toes under, one knee away, second knee away and hold.
from here, take your shoulders, bring the shoulder blades back together, and then I want you to roll those hands down the outside of the leg. Keep those shoulders down away from your ears, take your head to one side and lower down into a side bend. Come back up, be careful not to fall forward to the side, not forward. Come up, bring those arms in. If I just go this way on, you'll see me. There is those shoulder blades tucking in. Pull in that belly, squeeze your bottom. Then I want you to look up. Now squeeze that bottom. And then we go a little bit of hyperextension through the spine if that feels all right. Don't do it if it doesn't. Come all the way back, take a breath in, and take a breath out, and give yourselves a clap. Yay! Thumbs up everybody, well done. Any questions, any comments, just drop them down in the drop down area and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, have a good afternoon and I will see you all soon. Bye for now.